Well, it's a bit of a blustery one, people. And hello. From what is a bit of an unusual day. In that it's winter, but it's unusually warm. And despite what people tell you about Australia, we still get cold winters in certain states, including South Australia. And it can be rather bitter. We get the weather straight off the Antarctic, the southerlies, and it is very cold. But today, I'm looking at a nice, balmy 19 degrees centigrade, sun's out, a bit windy, but all good. So today we're doing the um, something unusual, it's not hints and tips on riding, it's me showing you a bit of where I live, but also I've been challenged by one of my fellow motor vloggers and one of my newfound online mates through the motor vlog forum and in particular a Facebook page set up by Adam and he has a page called Challenge Accepted Moto Vlog and the lads on there all just have a bit of banter, a bit of fun and uh, challenge each other to do daft stuff or, well not daft stuff, but to do interesting stuff on their, on their page in a non-spamming kind of way where we can support each other give each other shout outs but we're not there just to get views it's to promote what is good and what is all good about motor vlogging what we're doing is the three R's and it's three reasons why we ride the bikes we do one reason is I used to sell them BMWs that is and I ride sorry yes I better tell you what I ride the BMW F800 GS this is known as the Trophy. It's a 2012, unique 2012, I believe, model. It's blue and white. And came with a few extras, but nothing too spectacular. They, are, they have the BMW ABS, of course. I think it came as standard with the Pannier Axe and the Watch this guy behind me, give him an early break. Warning that I'm stopping. He's got it. So it came with the uh, the belly band protector, whatever you call it, underneath, and uh, the aluminium guard. But it's a standard bike, apart from the fact that I put a new screen on. Mine was yellowing and horrible, the standard one. So seven years of South Australian climate smashing it and it was getting a bit yellow so I got this one from Eagle Screens there's a, there's a review somewhere on my channel I like this screen it's a nice winter warmer so yes I used to sell BMWs I've got a confidence in the model and the brand I used to sell them from the early 90s prior to the and amongst the period when the telelever paralever four valve boxer engine came out which was a revelation, the R1100 GS. Prior to that, we had the R100 two valve boxes, which were, they've got a cult following, even now. So yeah, I used to sell BMWs and I used to sell Triumph. Now, I was given a window of opportunity by the wife, so they'd have an upgrade. Because I'd been going on about it and she says, be quick or I'll change my mind. So let me tell you, I had, I had a deposit down within 24 hours and I had a bit of a run around because there were two bikes. I have to admit I wanted the itchy nose. Uh, I wanted a Tiger. I've got an affinity to things from Hinkley. My wife is from Hinkley and I'm a big fan of the Triumph Tiger. 800, well the triple engine, the three cylinder engine, I love it. And I wanted a Tiger. Now I, I, I was on bikesales.com.au and I spotted one. But bugger me, it was gone by the time I rang up and it only just come up on the market. Somebody else saw it and snapped it up. And because we're in Adelaide, and let me explain how big this country is. If I want to ride to Sydney and get myself a, a bike, 
Well, it's a day and a half uh, of riding pretty much non-stop. Not ideal. So unless you've got confidence in the dealer and their photographs of their bikes, you can buy them online, get them shipped over, but you'll spend a grand more. If you were to jump on a plane and ride it back, it'd cost you a grand. So it's one of them situations where you can only buy local if you want to have a look and a ride and a play on it. My other option was the BMW GS. They were not advertised, but I rang the local BMW dealer, Moto Adelaide, and they went, Ooh, timed that right. They'd just taken this in as a trade and the guy had brought it down from Mildura, just over the border, and decided while he was there to have a go on a 1200 GS, brand new, and said, don't bother servicing that for me. I'll have this new one. Left it with them. So I got to see this, warts and all. Um, mucky, needed tyres, needed a service. When I actually collected it, it was mint. And I realised what a great bike it was. I thought I'm lucky and I got a great price. The second reason was the Triumph had sold out and I'd been given a window of opportunity from Mrs. Rider Skills which I wasn't going to pass up. So my deposit was down within 24 hours. So, third reason. Did, oh God, I've lost my thread now. Third reason, yes, the riding position. But we're in a very hot country here, sunny. And people have tinted windows, and I, I like to pick up clues from everything as I'm riding along. And I like to be able to see my way. And sometimes, when you're a bit lower down, like this, you can't see through the cars because they've all got very tinted windows. Some of them illegally tinted, but certainly your back windows and your back passenger windows in your doors, very, very dark. Keeps the cars cooler, stops people getting skin cancers because your side glass, I don't think has much UV protection. Your windscreens have, I can tell you that for a fact because they've got that interlayer between your laminated glass layers and that is actually through your windscreen despite you'll get heat through it 100% UV get your side windows out and I like to have a good view of the road and you can't see through the cars pick up extra clues I'm just gonna park the bus give you a view of the coast stand by quick look down here Da, 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 da. I'm not going to take my lid off. I'll show you what I have to put up with. I'll tell you what, compared to Bradford, it's a bit different, isn't it? And I am from Bradford, not Manchester. Just like to point out, having said, having, had, <laughs> having been introduced on Hippodrome's challenge as a bloke from Manchester, like you say, he's, he's never been north of Watford. So, <laughs> it's all the same to him. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, I've been here 13 years. And here I am. On the beach. I'll bring you to the beach. How good is that? That's Grange Jetty. That's another jetty. You can't see it on here, probably. It's a plane coming into the airport. A few people walking the dogs. Bright and sunny. <laughs> but it's west. Tough gig. <laughs> right, let's put this back on. I hope this comes out because I'm enjoying myself. I've got a quad lock. Anybody else use one of these? I'm crap when he gloves on. To be fair, he's not daft, is he? Get yourself a puppy. And all the girls will stop and talk to you. Always thinking. And onwards and upwards. Look at this lovely border collie here. Garden. Hello, mate. He's lovely. Stay there. Doing a good job. I'm going to go back up here.
and we'll cruise back home. Now, of course, yes. Last but not least, I have to challenge three other worthy recipients. Now, as I said, I'm not sure if they have to be members of the Facebook page. Hopefully they will join it if they're not. I'll give them a shout out and I'll let them know what I've done. Introduce them to the three R's and they can do the same. Let us know why they ride the bikes to do. Three reasons. But we will start with Brit Ninja. Brit Ninja. Now I presume he rides a Kawasaki. We'll find out when we ask him if he can do the three R challenge. Now I'll tell you why I like Brit Ninja and because he's entertaining. He's sarcastic, swears, but he's funny. And he's a bit of a northern bloke. I think he's from Chester or Cheshire, Chestershire. I like northern blokes. It's northwest for him, isn't it, really? But he says what he likes and likes what he says. A bit of a no nonsense geezer. And I like what he's. I like his channel. So we'll put a a link to it and I'll give him a heads up in the about info about this vlog this particular upload who's up next paradise biker from I'm going all over the world he's from Jamaica the Caribbean I don't know much about him a bit confused as to what he rides actually he's got pictures of different bikes on his page he's like he's like Britain injured and myself and my next introduction as well he's the, the, I've got less than 200 subscribers so if you're not subscribed to him give him a head give him give him, give him a thumbs up and subscribe and why have a pick paradise biker he's enthusiastic he's got a colorful channel keeps in touch likes to uh enthuse about his motorcycling and i like his enthusiasm so we'll have brit ninja and paradise biker uh, last but not least i'm gonna plump for stateside and I reckon I'll tell you where Paradise Biker was from he's from Jamaica the Caribbean the Caribbean however you want to pronounce it but last but not least we're going to go for triple three moto vlog or three 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 moto vlog I don't know what the three 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 refers to but he's another good lad he's got a good channel again approaching 200 subscribers <coughs> cough it up still a bit rough antibiotics coming out of my ears now what else was I going to say yes I'll tell you why I like him you've got to have a look at a particular video of uh, triple three motor vlog he did I think I've got it the right way down now I think it was him I think he did a um, a funny well edited upload on counter steering and I right enjoyed it it was great and since then I've kept an eye on all his stuff. All three of these guys are a bit like me, they're all between 100 and 200 subscribers, all worthy of a, a mention, and hopefully they can follow it up with a, a three hours. So we'll go from there. Hope you're all well, hope you all ride safe. Look after yourselves and I'll speak to you all in a bit, no doubt, on the internet. And thanks to Hippodromes for my little three hours nomination. I'm not going to call it a challenge because it isn't a challenge, is it? It's fun. I was nominated and I'm proud to say that was great. Thank you, mate. Speak to you all soon.